That's the American Salute, ladies and gentlemen, Red and Stitch of the Orchestra. Next piece up is one that's near and dear to my heart. What an honor and privilege it is to be able to introduce the orchestra performing this for you tonight. My parents are both sides of my family. Father came from Germany. His people came over in the late 1600s. My mother's people came over from Sicily in the late 1800s. They all came to America to have a better life, as many of your ancestors did as well. And they're still coming in because America's the greatest nation on the face of the planet. Wouldn't you agree? We are the blending spot, we are the melting pot here in America. And this next piece is a piece I wrote to pay tribute to that. To my grandfather who performed with the Reading Symphony Orchestra during the Depression era in 1932, and also the Ringgold Band during John Philip Seuss's era, and also performed at the first inauguration of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. For all of you who serve in the Armed Forces of the United States of America defending liberty, and for all of my colleagues at the Red Eagle and WEP Radio, please now, I hope you enjoy this piece that was arranged for us for full orchestration tonight by my good friend, musician Chris Heslop, the world debut of the full symphonic version of what I wrote called Long Live the Eagle. Thank you. 
Orchestra, Roland the Eagle. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.